What are you doing? I'm leisuring. Can't you see what the fuck I'm wearing, bitch? This is called the leisure suit. Can't you see that I'm fucking leisuring? I can see it. Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So Julian just got back from his trip. We haven't seen each other in a couple days. We're both a little exhausted. This was actually all inspired by the fact that I bought this leisure suit. It's literally called the leisure suit. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leisure in it. And that means everyone around me's gotta do shit for me. Who's wearing the leisure suit? You. Me. That's right. <laughs> Can you pick those up for me? You I'm, just threw them there. I'm wearing a leisure suit. You can reach them. I'm wearing a leisure suit. And that's how the leisure suit works. <laughs> I hate it. Anyways. <laughs> pretty much all we can handle right now is just feeding ourselves. But I thought it would actually be a really fun video to make because a lot of you guys request that I make cooking videos. On Julian's vlog channel, actually, we have something called J&J's Kitchen where we just cook food. Instead of just forcing my boyfriend to cook for me, which would be nice and fun, and I mean, I am wearing the leisure suit, I decided that I think it would be pretty cool if we did My Boyfriend Cooks My Favorite Meal because I'd say that my favorite meal is a little bit interesting, especially if you have a favorite meal that, like, is not, like, a cheeseburger. It's very specific so that while they cook it for you, you can wear your leash shoe and tell them everything that they're doing wrong and that it doesn't taste right and to keep trying you know what I'm saying wait that that's what we're doing yeah you're gonna cook me my favorite meal and I'm gonna critique you the whole time in my leisure suit <laughs> you can't even take a sip without laughing my favorite meal happens to be a delicacy <laughs> from upstate New York. Bitch, it's called a garbage plate, okay? So for those of you that don't know, traditionally it's half mac salad, macaroni salad, half like home fries or potatoes, two cheeseburger patties on top, and then it's covered in like a meat sauce, ketchup, mustard, hot sauce, the whole nine. It's fucking delicious. I haven't had one in years because I don't eat meat anymore. But I see these ones on Pinterest and say, they have like fucking french fries in them, and I'm like, first of all, you know not my dad. <laughs> They're using brown mustard on there, like, it's a it's a disaster the internet needs to clean their shit up because no one apparently knows how to make a true vegan garbage plate so julian's gonna try i'm gonna leisure and critique can i have some at the end or? yeah you can have some <laughs> And for those of you from other countries, you wondering why Americans got so fat, it's because we invent things like garbage plates. <laughs> we already went to Whale Foods and got a bunch of stuff. Masamenos is a little bit like this, but they're not full cheeseburgers. That's what people fail to understand about a garbage plate, is that they're like, they're like smash burgers. They're very thin burgers and they go on top. And you can get them with all different kinds of stuff, like hot dogs or like hamburgers and hot dogs. It's just, it's terrible for you. But we're gonna do a traditional cheeseburger plate. I literally have never seen a video where anyone's attempted a proper vegan garbage plate, so I'm excited to like. It's probably because do it first. there's nobody from Rochester that's the vegan except for me. I'm kidding. There's probably like five. Let's do mac salad first, then go into the meat sauce. Yeah. Then we cook the potatoes and then the burgers. Yeah, burgers are last. Would you like some chapstick? No. Are you sure you don't want some chapstick? Yes. Your loss. So just like my father Babish always says, you gotta have a little tray of kosher salt and a little tray of freshly ground pepper. That seems so unnecessary. We're making a garbage plate. Why are you making it all fancy? So we're cooking some LA tap water. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm in a leisure suit, so get chopping. By far my least favorite thing in the kitchen. Boy, you chopping vegetables, like chill out. Clean up your dusty knife mess. You're just gonna leave that? I'm a Virgo, please clean it up. All right, do you know how much of this you're, cook you're cooking? Yeah, it says two celery ribs, which is why I just chopped all of them off of the head. <laughs> it says a fourth of red onion, but I'm down for a half. Okay, it's not your meal. <laughs> it's my meal. And I, unlike the rest of the sheeple in upstate New York, do not believe that Nick Tahoe's has the best garbage plate. I really don't. Oh, shit. I really don't. At me. Fight me. They might have invented the garbage plate, but it is not the best. Who's the best? Name them. Henrietta Hots. This right here, this is what we call Samaries bullshit. Julian, there is not, a, this is not the correct size pot and water to cook this in. Just a little bit and a little extra. Julian, don't, you can't, oh my God. Why don't you look at that mince right there? It can be a little finer. No, it can't. It was all stuck to the bottom of the pot because there was too much pasta in there. 
It was fine. Julian has not made the sauce that goes on the mac salad well, yet. You give me the recipe for it, so... One thing I do know is that you're gonna make it like bitter tasting somehow. What? Everything that Julian makes is like so fucking bitter. And he's like, should we add more lemon? I'm like, no. Couple mayonnaise. We're using just mayo, dill pickles, and a little pickle juice. You need two teaspoons of sugar and one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard. This, as far as I'm concerned, is the only Dijon mustard that exists. Why was that in your sweatshirt? That's nasty. Yeah. That's a lot of salt and pepper. That's a lot. That's all sugar. Go away, it's my favorite meal. I'm making it for you. I'll go ahead and put this back because I know you're just gonna leave it out here until next week if I don't. You probably have chopped those a lot finer. Kind of thick chops. I do, I do have thick chops. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thick chops, Julian. You know what's thick? Is the lens of the camera inside the bowl. Oh God. All right, can you give me a little space hey, to breathe? how do you spell cans backwards? <laughs> Snack. Well, you looking like one. Did you taste it? Pretty sweet, you want to taste it? Oh, I don't want like a bite. I just want to taste. Oh, don't get it on my leisure suit. That's right. It's good? That, don't fuck it up. I'm not. Don't touch I'm it. Not. Don't put anything in it. Don't say it as it needs some lemon. Don't make it bitter as hell. Does it though? That's perfect. Does it need lemon though? No. And we gonna mix it up real good, nice and good, nice and real good. I'm actually like so surprised that that tastes like right. My favorite part of this is the backhanded compliments. I think that when you put it in the fridge, it'll like... I should add a little more mayo. Well, can I also maybe suggest that there was a shit ton of fucking water in the pasta after you drained it? Julian? Ooh, oh! <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with that, I'm just doing a tiny, tiny bit, and then a little bit of- I'm not getting the mustard. I'm wearing a leisure suit. I mean, now it's fucking mayo -y, Julian. Jenna, you're wrong. You're not allowed to touch the tools, I'm cooking. Then we can work on the hot sauce. But you can, because I'm wearing a leisure suit, so. A lot of people think that the hot sauce that goes on top of a garbage plate is like hot sauce, but it's not. It's more like a chili, almost. It's just like a meat sauce. It's not particularly like super spicy. That's what makes everything extra gross. Hey, Julian. Is you crying, baby? Yeah, it's emotional, man. These onions have family. Should I put emotional in the title of this video? Well, you have to warn people somehow. <laughs> you can't just bamboozle them with this emotion. Does it need lemon, you think? No! <laughs> no lemon, no lime, no citrus of any kind. You a poet, girl? Yeah! I'm feeling pretty relaxed, except for the fact that everything that you're doing right now is stressing me out. <laughs> is this one garlic clove or four? That's four garlic cloves. <laughs> if I cooked your favorite meal, what would I cook you? I, I, my reflex is to say sushi, but vegan sushi really ain't there yet, so probably pad thai. What a boring video. Are you kidding me? Watch your mouth when you're talking about my son pad thai. <laughs> By the way, we're naming our son pad thai. Listen to this. My idea, if we have a boy child, I want to name him San Francisolamita. Come on, it's a pretty good name. Is what? Sam his first name and Fran his middle name? Yes. How about, okay, Julian, get a load of this. Jerry Seinfeld Solomita! Okay, that would be great. I'm down for that. Then we could totally market our videos as every single one of them has Jerry Seinfeld in it. <laughs> it says just fry. It doesn't say a temperature. And when I see fry, I just see high. Good way to remember it. No, no, Julian, no. Onion and garlic. Fry high. No! Good way to remember it. No. Yeah, that's so violent. Back up, back up. It's actually a little low. And while it's cooking down, we're gonna get down. Julian, you never cease to amaze me with your choice of kitchen utensil. That is the wrong thing to cook with. No, no, I'm cooking with this. I always gotta have a few utensils in play. Julian, he's already trying to make modifications to this recipe. I just wanna add a little hot sauce. I told you, it's not hot sauce, babe. It's like a chili meat sauce. You can add Frank's Red Hot on top of it if you want. You can just dump it in there. Especially not right now. So just a little? No! It's not your recipe. Look at me. Look at me. Aren't you glad I picked such a simple recipe as my favorite meal? This is the least simple recipe I've ever cooked. When you're critiquing me at the end, can you please remember that I've never made this ever? Yeah, I've never made a vegan garbage plate either. What is that? Oh, who are you fighting? They go in at the same time, just like one person. I'm a Virgo. Look at that. This breeds sophistication, just like me. 
this is where I come from. Me in a nutshell. Julian, that's not the potato peeler. Julian, that's not the potato peeler. That's a vegetable peeler. Julian, no, no. Now you can just do that over the garbage and then it just goes right into the garbage. I always miss. That sounds like a you problem. This is our kitchen right here. We need fire extinguishers in all corners of the kitchen. Everyone does. It's proper fire safety. Yeah, but especially you, boy. Did add some water for Julian because he does not know the consistency, and I do. Should we check on the max salad? It definitely looks like vegan mayo. It looks okay. What are you doing now? You gonna put these potatoes in this fire boy? First, you gotta unplug all the other heat electronics on this side. Plug in the deep fryer. <laughs> So we're gonna dump those in, crisp them up, cook them, and then season them in a little salt and pepper and just have them ready to be on the plate. Do you think all of those are gonna fit in there? Because there was an episode of j, &J Kitchen where we made fried pickles and it was too much stuff in there. Oh my God. Ooh, boy! Ooh, ooh, Julian! I lowered the amount of oil since that happened, since that scenario. The way I wash dishes is you get a little swirl going. Get a little, a little swirl going, go up. And then they're washed. They're fine now. You could eat I doubt ice cream that. out of this. I doubt that. All right, Julian. So what's your idea now? Okay. Picture this. <laughs> I'm nervous. My idea is you've pretty much helped me get to where I need to go. Now, I want to put together the last few steps so you can be a little bit surprised by the final product. Uh, okay. It'll be great. Can I ask one request? Yes. Don't put the ketchup and mustard on for me. Of course not. We gonna do it. So you and I, I'm talking. All right, you and I are gonna figure this out. Well, <laughs> she seems to be really I'm down with this plan. Very leisure. All right, so let let's uh, you. Good I'm luck. a Fargo. <laughs> oh my God. Just go. You can sit right there. You can smell all the goodness, but I don't know. Get fucking lost. What we're doing over here is we are gonna heat up this pan, put some oil on it. Get it really, really hot for these burgers. I'll just be over here putting on chapstick. <laughs> what we're looking at right now, I think this is looking pretty good. You gotta season them right after they come out of the fryer. These are the taters. Back to Burger Town, USA. Spatula on, and press down with something heavy. Just a tiny bit of salt and pepper. All right, so those are just gonna melt really quick. We're gonna circle back to our final station where we're gonna assemble everything. You're not gonna see my lovely face. I'm just gonna show you the food. Yeah. Hold on, I'm leisure. I'm so fucking excited right now. <laughs> I have not had a garbage plate in so long. Julian has never had a garbage plate. So this is how you do it, okay? You gotta just put it all over the whole thing. Then you need yellow mustard. None of that fancy shit. And you gotta mustard it all up. It does look like garbage. But then there's crazy people that like, you know, probably eat their Chipotle bowl like one little bite at a time. No! You need to cut it all up. You need to make it like homogenous. You know what I'm saying? Garbage plate. I'm gonna cry. I feel like someone's favorite meal says so much about them. You know what mine says about me? I'm fucking trash. <laughs> Look yeah, it. I know. I made it. Oh my god. Are you excited? Yeah, I wanna watch. Julian, this actually looks so good. Bitch, what the fuck? Everyone watching this right now is like, I'm never going to upstate New York. That place looks gross. And you're right. It's gross. I want like your reaction to tasting it because you've heard me talk about it since we met each other. Look at it. This is the perfect garbage plate. Look at it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Ready? Oh my God. I'm gonna cry. Is it good? I'm gonna cry. It tastes like a garbage plate. <laughs> Julian, I love you. <laughs> Obviously the burger is different, but the way that you crisp it up makes it taste just like a fucking garbage plate. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna cry actual tears. So just a bunch of ketchup and then a bunch of mustard? Yep. You can add hot sauce if you want. Listen to that sound. That sound. That's a taste I've never had before. Right? That is wild. 
Isn't that good? It's really fucking good. I like can't group it in with a burger and I can't quite group it in with like barbecue food. It's like somewhere this Hell is Oh yeah, we know what the fuck we're doing. Okay. Something now, about having like mac salad with like a potatoes burger. Potatoes and burger. Yeah. Now imagine Julian, it's two AM and you're wasted right now. Tell me that's not the best thing you've ever eaten. Yeah. Holy shit. It's really good. You made me my favorite meal. This is so fucking good. I feel like you treated me like the princess, but I am not. <laughs> this is so fantastic. The onions, the pickle. Can you give it a score out of 10? This is 10 out of 10. No way. I didn't think that, that a vegan, also gluten free, I did not think that you could make it taste like a garbage plate, but it really tastes just fucking like it. I was a little skeptical of the Beyond Meat in the meat sauce, like that it was gonna be the wrong texture, but it doesn't matter. It's fucking amazing. This was really nice. I'm so glad you like it. Did you have fun making yeah, it? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm excited to eat the rest of mine. I'm excited to like make this more. It's sort of like a labor intensive recipe. I'm sorry for doing that to you, but what can I say? I'm a fancy bitch. Look at I'm this plate. Sometime I'll have to make your favorite food for you. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, I You're love welcome. you. You're welcome, I love you. Although we did modify some of the recipes, I'm gonna put the recipes that we did use in the description, so in case you ever wanted to try this absolute pile of trash, you can. But yeah, that's it. I just thought we'd make a nice video, spend some time together. I could yell at you about <sighs> being a tornado in the kitchen. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and put on your face every Wednesday slash Thursday. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna fucking leave you my ass off with my favorite fucking food right now. You're cute. Oh man, the wine just really bounces off all the flavor. <laughs> you know what we should do next time? Garbage plate cam. Put a GoPro in the middle of the garbage plate and just look at the shit from the inside. That's disgusting. <laughs> What's wrong with you? God, you're so unrefined. Do you want me to fax you the list or email it? Fax it to me. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's such a nice thing to do though with your significant other is to like have them cook your favorite food if they've never made it, especially if they've never made it. So you can micromanage them the entire time until they literally tell you to get out of the kitchen at the end. 10 out of 10, baby. 10 out, Julian. Bar's been said hi. You did the impossible. You made me a garbage plate, boy. This is my heart on a plate. You should get your heart checked. <laughs> and don't forget, someday we will have a son and his name will be San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco, Amina, if you watching, this video is for you. All right, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>